One of the hottest groups since the election has been the transportation sector. And tonight, Morgan Brennan explains why. Transports keep on trucking, driving the surge of prospects for stronger economic growth, infrastructure spending, and corporate tax reform, which investors seem to believe outweigh the risks of more protectionist trade policies. But it isn't just about the election. The Dow Jones transportation average has rebounded more than 40 percent off its January lows when economists were warning of recession and for the year is poised to gain 25 percent. The biggest winners, trucking names including Landstar Rider and J.B. Hunt and rail stocks like CSX and Union Pacific. Many of them are companies with big exposure to industrial production, mining and manufacturing, which has shown signs of stabilization in recent months. I think there's some of the gains that have been pulled forward. So this group, particularly the domestic group, benefits a lot from tax reform. So I think that has the potential to drive significant earnings power as well as free cash generation. But I also do think that we are coming off of a bit of a bottom from a freight perspective. So we have seen a bit of a rally here in the late summer through the fall. And so volumes are up a bit. So there's a fundamental underpinning of this as well. After a year and a half long freight recession, volumes are beginning to grow. A closely watched index ticked higher for the first time in 20 months in October, with domestic freight shipments climbing nearly 3% compared to last year, and a reading considered better than the normal seasonal surge. Though still well off their peaks, data readings from hard-hit rail and trucking companies are showing early signs of recovery as well. And at least one analyst says soaring air freight tonnage is a clear signal that consumers are ramping up spending. It's all fueling a transport rally. But one experts warn comes with risks, including higher oil prices, rising interest rates, and the trade impact of a strong dollar. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Morgan Brennan.